all right all right yes so thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel sports heavy gh it's always always a pleasure to have you join us yeah we are going to bring you a very packed video with a lot of stories about black stars players about black stars next game um update um kudos mohammed with a bang uh we are bringing you all the update exclusive content videos and everything you ought to know um in this particular one so do well to stick and stay with us subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching us here like this video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a pleasure to have you please please do all to like the video and leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section thank you very much for staying let's check the stories now um babayara and cape coast stadiums approved for afcon qualifier match um that is 15th may 2023 it has been revealed by ghana soccer net that the babayara sports stadium and the cape coast stadium babayara is 40,000 capacity cape coast stadium is 15,000 capacity has been approved for the afcon qualifier match versus um central african republic on the 18th of june the black stars will play their next afghan qualifier versus madagascar away in madagascar and then in september of this year they will play the next afghan qualifier in ghana here um versus central african republic we have to win th those two games to qualify to the afghan and those um the stadium we are going to play the second game in um is either babayara stadium or cape coast so both stadiums have been approved they will select one and then we play that particular game versus central african republic over there now the next story is that the ali Mahama sports stadium to undergo renovations as confirmed by the sports minister yes the ali Mahama sports stadium is uh, maybe one of the only accepted stadium in the three northern regions yeah when you are talking about when you are talking about the 10 regions but right now it's, it's five northern regions so it's um, um the accepted stadium there and the sports minister ministers reviewed that they it will undergo renovations in no time andre the day are you the captain of the black stars giving congratulations to javi hernandez for winning the la liga yes you know that um andre the day are you former boss at um um in Qatar when he was playing in Qatar yes javi hernandez has won the la liga trophy with barcelona um breaking a lot of records with the um, the most clean sheets and all of that and um andrew Dedi are you on his inter instagram story um congratulated his boss javi hernandez for winning that particular um la liga he says once a champion always a champion you deserve it that is andre the day are you over there now salisu mohammed sending a very um heartfelt message to um sarantin fans after the relegation yes a, a lot of people are saying that salisu mohammed will move from sarantin to other clubs and um, because of his quality and all of that but then um based on this message there it looks like he wants to stay at sarantino but Let's, let's just go through he says that i'm extremely disappointed that i've not been able to help the team as much as i would like to despite my injury i've been struggling with since february we want to assure you that every player and member of our team is determined to come back stronger and that's the underlying way to come back stronger and better prepared for the next season despite the outcome i am incredibly proud of proud of our team and therefore that each and every person put in throughout the season we know that there are many lessons to be learned and improvements to be made we are grateful for each and every one of our fans thank you for your support understanding during this difficult time we will continue to work hard and strive for excellence in everything we do but i'll say we will assure you that every player and member of our team is determined to come back stronger and that is the 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 underlining statement to come back stronger will he stay at sarantin will he not stay at sarantin we will see how everything go um during the transfer window in summer yes but then a heart a heartfelt message salisu sends to all sarantin fans for their relegation out of the english premier league now today kudus Mohammed played a game 
and then he assisted he had a rating of 8.3 and this is actually the first time kudus muhammad has been playing for a very long in fact he has been starting for a very long while after um, before his injury or after his injury yes now they were playing versus Groningen um in the area divisie the game was supposed to come on on sunday but it was abandoned when fireworks and smoke bombs were thrown out on the page by home fans protesting the site's first relegation in 25 years so the home side have been relegated from the area divisie since um for 25 years now this is the first time they've been relegated and when they were playing ajax their supporters were protesting and so they threw some fireworks onto the field um, on sunday and so that game couldn't come on and they had to come on today and then kudus muhammad showed that indeed he's a top quality player kudus muhammad versus the groningen team and um, he completed the most dribbles three in the match he won the most duels in the match that is eight he he was the most fouled player in the match that was four times and he returned to the ajax starting 11 with an assist today he assisted a goal and had an, a rating of 8.3 it tells you how good he was today for his side yes so these are some of the quick updates we decided to bring you do all to subscribe to the channel for lots more fantastic blasters news and content hit the sub uh, notification bell and select or like this video and leave your thoughts and comments below definitely i'll see you in the next update thank you very much bye bye